Hello and welcome. This is Gigi and this is a weekly tarot reading for my Virgos. Hi Virgos. How are you? I hope you're well. I've done many readings for January 2021. I highly recommend you take the time and go and watch some of your readings. Okay, I'm sure there is some um, information gift for you to take. Okay to take with you i just want to say general reading okay so to keep this in mind uh welcome all my new subscribers thank you for being here for those who've been following me i'm very grateful for you thank you thank you and let's start your reading virgo and let's see what the message is for you eight of swords eight of wands nine of wands the magician oh in a reverse Ace of Wands. Okay, the star in the reverse. Oh, heavy energy all around. Yes, and today I'm doing this. The moon is in Scorpio. So Eight of Swords. Uh, there's like a... I feel like a, a wait and see kind of energy around you. You're waiting for something. Okay, you're not sure. You you may not have the control that you wish you have in some areas of life. The magician is in a reverse. Okay, so just be mindful of your thought. Okay, eight of swords sometimes is also is for me is um, negative thinking and really uh, being afraid. Okay, of of something. I have to let you know, you guys. You know this energy is very heavy for all of us. Aquarius is a heavy sign. It's an eleven sign and it's heavy. Okay, and um. As the eleventh as the eleventh sign, it's actually a uh, sixth sign away from you. So it's kind of like where you feel really good. Okay, your ruler is in retrograde at this moment. Is that uh, yes? It's in full retrograde. Mercury's in retrograde in your sixth house. So you're reviewing things, things that you've seen that you haven't talked about. You haven't talked to no one. You're keeping this to yourself. Things that you know that you know could be useful. Uh, things that uh, you know about some other people. The magician is in reverse. A very, very uh, heavy position, okay? Even for me, you guys, I'm a Scorpio sign. And my ruler, okay, uh, my ancient ruler, Pluto, Pluto, is in Capricorn, okay? Capricorn is the highest sign of the Zodiac, okay? Just because it's number 10, okay? So it's, uh, this, it's a, all about career, reputation. So I have to do a lot of those readings. And... I have to say, uh, lately it's been very hard for me to do those readings because it's heavy, heavy, heavy energy. But I have to say, I have to say what I see, all right? I don't like to do those type of readings because, like I said, a lot of people are going through some heavy energy. People need answers. There's something in emotion or feelings that something is not right, It's not fair, It's not just. We're dealing with the COVID, this situation, that, that actually created a domino effect we're looking at this we're looking at that so there is um i kind of feel a lot of responsibility that comes with it for you my virgos nine of wands is in a reverse all right you're at your wits end okay you might be working really hard maybe you're working really hard okay working really hard at something okay but or maybe you're looking for something really hard it's really that type of energy that is heavy however you have a very good spread here. I have the eight of wands. So there is something that's going to change. You're going to see it's going to change very quick. It's happening, okay? You're going to go forward, all right? You're going to take, I think, um, I don't see a risk, but I, you're going to do your due diligence here, okay? The the magician is in a reverse. So someone, there's something that uh, is, uh, is being reviewed, but in a very mostly practical way okay so it's not uh um it's you're dealing with fact fact of the matter right now maybe the fact of some matter in some life or maybe your life or someone else's life is kind of like shocking to you yeah things are coming out things are coming out as shocking okay uh so you're finding down things but you're going to do something with that ace of rods okay you're going to use this opportunity to start something. Or maybe if you're not going to do it, it's going to bring some type of clarity, okay? Ace of Wands is about a beginning, okay? Going forward. I think that there's something you're discovering about uh, how you want to position yourself in the future. The star is in a reverse, so be mindful, okay? Because this energy in a reverse. Oh, let me show you this card. 
uh, the star. In a reverse, it's about sadness, deception. It definitely, it talks about some heavy energy, all right? Feeling that you're uh, you're late, so maybe you're not a part of the group, or there's some about something about melancholy, and also sometimes also it talks about abuse, all right? Um, I hope it's not someone that you, something that you know that you have seen, okay? Well, if, if it's that is, it says to talk about it, Ace of Wands. But the best advice I could tell you here, it is a time, because me, I don't watch TV, okay? I stopped watching TV, you know, 20 years ago. Okay, maybe less than that, okay? But when the 9-11 happened, I didn't have a TV then, okay? Now I have a computer, I watch things, but I have, I noticed that you guys comment, let me know. Uh, on my uh, YouTube now, I have like, uh, things like investigation death, uh, coming out of nowhere on my, on my search, all oh, this dead crime of this and crime of honor, uh, of honor, uh, this thing. It's all about people who died and that there was an investigation and truth came out. I don't know how it came on my feed, but I'm not even looking for it. Okay. I have a premium YouTube subscription. I'm not looking for that. I'm not, I don't even do a search for that. I don't know how it came about, but it made me think about having Pluto and Capricorn. Pluto, and it's just, it's the planet of death and rebirth, death and rebirth being brought to light. There's definitely long time issues and sexual issues. Okay. Family issues, family lies that are being brought up. I don't like to be like this, you know, for those that have been following me for years, I've been doing this for years, but you've been seeing me in, on YouTube since YouTube since 2015. I didn't even read a reversal. I was, you know, I was living at in Thailand at the time and really having a yogi life and things change. Okay. Because of this COVID, a lot of things change and I'm happy. Like, I'm seeing how things are coming out of my reading and it's shocking me. Okay. Cause I didn't, I never used to do readings like that in my readings that I, I promise I am telling you all I see. I'm not even keeping something sometimes trying to rephrase, but I'm keeping everything. I'm, I'm saying I'm showing everything is being told to me. Okay. Um, so yes, it is shocking. Okay. Even for me as a reader, uh, six of pentacles in a reverse. So what it is for me, it's someone who was looking for themselves. Okay. Someone who actually, uh, now is a little worried that their little antics could come out. Okay. Maybe someone that, you know, uh, my Virgos, you might be the observant of your story. Okay. That doesn't mean that, uh, you have to be the participant, but the six of pentacles is truly is, I hate to say it is a lacking humility here because about in this position it's about sharing being generous all right at least it represents some amount of donation okay but in a reverse it's it's keeping things for yourself all right uh it's really not sharing okay being a little i was about to say a word i don't want to say but being selfish okay so someone was being selfish someone was trying to blind someone something okay it could be at work maybe uh someone is using this to make you work harder or trying to gain something from you okay something of that matter it could be in any areas of life but there's something that has to do with the magician in a reverse with some deceptive energy uh that is uh that it's coming it's coming out okay uh with the chariot in a reverse is lo it's really losing your losing your path. Someone has lost their path, the sense of direction because of them wanting something too much. Okay, wanting to manifest something too quick, wanting to make things happen regardless of who's around or uh, who was involved. Someone came for themselves. Okay, even if they knew that they maybe were overpowering someone, someone was overpowered. Okay, or they could have been not, just not aware of things that were, or decision that was taking place without their knowledge here. And the chariot says someone lost their, uh, their direction. Someone really went to a whole different direction, which wasn't supposed to be. Someone actually tried to really cut corners here. Someone was trying to do a shortcut because the chariot is about also, it represents cancer, but it's a victorious energy. Okay. It's, it talks about success. Also, it's about going somewhere, okay? It, it shows uh, effort and motivation, okay? It's definitely merit. But in a reverse, it's someone 
really uh, try to do something something demerit in order to reach a goal uh, an action or not an action they try to do something to uh bring something to them to make something happen favorable in their for their for themselves okay so they try to cut corner they got some other people involved here okay uh i see the empress i guess it was against this empress because the nine of wands is in a reverse so someone is not able to go forward with the nine of, of wands in a reverse is uh not being able to uh defend yourself all right okay because um Nine of Wands is about not giving up, okay? Continue pursuing even through burden and challenges. But next to the the Empress could be a Libra or Taurus or someone else, okay? Could be someone who has a Libra. Maybe you don't know someone has a Venus and Libra. It doesn't have to be a Libra sun sign, okay? Or Venus and Taurus or Jupiter and Taurus, okay? But someone was trying to stop this celestial energy. That could be you here the, coming out as the Empress. This is someone that cannot be stopped, because this is someone that has a selective, a selected journey, okay, where the Most High has selected that person to perform a few things, okay, to align a lot of people's souls in the right direction. That could be you, all right? So this is someone who's very powerful. She uses a connection to the celestial energy to heal other people. She's very fertile. Something may start new. You may start your family. You may be pregnant. I'm not sure why someone would have stopped or try to stop this or try to really prevent you from um or wanting you not to get what you want i feel like someone really did not want you to get what you want okay because nine of ones like i said it's about uh not not giving up okay but it's in a reverse okay there is some amount of uh foul play here involving you know people that are kind of like I was there's some type of cons conspiracies here with the magician in reverse a like clearly failed because whoever was targeted is protected queen of cups ten of wands in a reverse see they tried everything seven of swords oh my god i'm so tired of seeing the seven of swords even in a reverse i'm telling you this energy comes out every reading okay if i'm not mistaken you comment below virgos you would know that i think that the seven of wands is venus in aquarius venus is currently in aquarius but for me the seven of wands is about throwing someone under the bus so someone was trying to throw someone under the bus this celestial energy the healer that this is someone who truly is not using any manipulation not like the magician or any type of um uh, hidden tools to manifest things for themselves at the same time they're really coming from a loving heart that's why you can't stop this energy but someone actually tried a seven of swords this is the card again of throwing someone under the bus that could be a cheater here could be a husband Ooh. next to the deception wow i i kind of feel like that could be someone that you don't even know i hate to say it that could be someone that you don't even know in a sense that maybe oh there's some competition here maybe there's there's a competition there's a dispute there's a, someone is trying to get to something before someone else something like that or someone could be seven of swords here it's a betrayal it's a, in a reverse someone could have betrayed the betrayed this the star card this aquarius person it could be this aquarius trying to betray you all right something like that okay but there's definitely a melancholy energy here because it's really about being too comfortable Someone, they, they felt so comfortable. The reason why they felt comfortable is because you had no idea. They use your innocence. They use your dedication in wanting the best and wanting to heal and wanting to produce results and wanting to heal and wanting to um, be a guide. They wanted to take that away from you. 
why but i'm not sure why but what i see here is because they were not able to themselves become they were not able to succeed in their own path maybe at work they're not as possible they're not as um um competent maybe in your family they're not you know some people are gifted differently right all right but there's definitely someone who took a shortcut while you were keeping your head down right that's why it's it's a it's for me the first word i want to say about the six of, of pentacles in the reverse and is a coward because it really is something someone who's trying to take something away from someone all right and someone who has enough wants too much so instead of giving away what maybe someone has given for someone else for their to their behalf they're taking it so maybe uh it's in case of uh um some relationship right maybe there's a dispute or a contract and someone uh, use your loving heart uh, in order to take from you or not to tell you the full disclosure. And I feel like that's something that could have not happened necessarily now, but it's coming out. Okay. But the Queen of Cups is really this he healer energy, someone very compassionate, very generous. Okay. Coming from a loving heart. It's kind of not positive next to the magician in a reverse. Now that could have been the one who's been manipulated. Even if she's coming out in a reverse next to the magician, uh, not in a reverse, even if she's coming out in the right position next to the magician, uh, she could be very ma manipulative. All right. Okay. Or she could have been stripped out of her tools or connection um, by the seven of swords. Okay. Maybe someone tried to strip someone away from their money strip someone away from their contacts, strip someone away. like again doing something some bad juju in their back it didn't work because that's the queen of cups she's coming in highly guided protected that could be you but let me add end this reading right here for you my virgos i'm going to do an extending right now okay don't forget to subscribe my channel before you leave like and share the video and until next time send you lots of, lots of kisses i love you